Hi, this is Ben Ling, and this week I'm going to be talking about some takeaways from Grant Cardone, uh, the Expert Empires conference I was at last week. Um, it's all about money and mindset. I'm just going to share one lesson here because there was so many lessons I could share from this conference. Does that look good? Right? Um, it was by Seriously Fun Business, Expert Empires. His name was Nick James who ran the conference. It was well organised. I highly recommend it for next year. And there's one up in November. Uh, this is uh, episode number 24 of Ben's Business Podcast as well. I'm just going to change it up a bit and do the takeaways since that's what's on my mind at the moment. i done an Instagram poll last week as well, just at the end of the conference to make sure people were up for this, to, for me to do some takeaways. And i I done a wee poll and people said yes, so uh, here it is. The main thing I got from attending this conference and any conference I go to is the paradigm shift, which is like the change of your mindset. It changes something in your mind where things, it opens up and enlightens you to new ways to act. And that's exactly what a paradigm is. It's when it changes your mindset, but you actually use it in, in your day-to-day -day life going forward and in your business. So it's totally shifted that. And there's lots of lessons, but the main lesson is about mindset and money. Grant Cardone talked about a wee bit about sales as well, and I remember hearing some of the parts uh, from his book Seller Be Sold, which is a great book and very practical. Um, he also shared some lessons from the 10x rule, but the parts from the Seller Be Sold book, um, I, I read that once on or listened to it on audiobook, and I definitely got great takeaways, lots of practical practical tips I've been using in my business but it's like when you read a book for a second time you tend to learn more about it it's like a new book and listening to Grant Cardone in the same room I think that done it even more had a more impactful job than just reading it for a second time it was just seeing him there and actually living what he was talking about and doing it and showing us as an ex being the example um, he says that we should the, like the first takeaway from Grant Cardone's talk is that we should, or you sell the way that you buy. And what he means by that is if you're an analytical or slow decision maker when you're buying things in shops and even deciding to go to a conference or spend some, invest some money in yourself or in assets to, um, to grow your business or grow your mind, um, how you buy those things, wherever it is, is exactly how your clients or prospects will tend to buy from you. And the reason for that is because we, if you have authority when you're able to act big and do big things and get people to follow you, you're, you become a leader. Uh, it's just like Grant Cardone, the way he spends, he's bought himself a jet uh, and he's now reaching mil a billionaire status and he's really playing it big. And when you listen to him, he's, he's got real, real integrity, morals about what he's talking about. And you can feel the vibe just being in that room. It's very different from reading his book or listening to the audio book. It's a lot, it's a, it's a different emotion, a, a totally different feeling you get. And I think that's very important. We need to be doing what we're teaching, obviously. And you can't teach someone how to make a million pounds if you've never made it yourself. And that's really what he's saying here. So. One other thing he mentioned was, how, how do you tell people to go big when you're not? And that's the point there. So you sell the way that you buy. Just take that note there. It's, it's so important. It's a big change for me and my mindset and how I, how I buy. And what actually influenced me to do in my thinking is take an action. There was a ticket I was thinking about buying last year at the conference, the same conference run by the same people different speakers and one of the speakers were there last year but he was here again this year and last year I never bought the, the ticket he was, he was selling but I was very interested and I don't know why I didn't go for it. It was probably th it, small mindset money problems but Grant Cardone snapped me right out of that and I ended up going buying, uh, it was about £250, it wasn't expensive but it was an opportunity rather than 750 and that's a good example of me actually using what I learned. I, I went and bought the ticket and that was kind of a note I put in uh, as I was listening to Grant Cardone, I says, buy the ticket because 
without with listening to that and believing it and not acting on it would just be against my new morals or new beliefs. So I actually used what I was learning at that moment. The num the second takeaway I got is the flow of um, and and the flow and abundance of money. And the flow and abundance of money is how when you spend money on an asset or invest it in yourself, just like I invested it in myself with that workshop that I'm going to this year and this conference I was at last week and the one I was at last year. When I attended that one last year, that was me getting slightly out of my comfort zone because I hadn't really attended uh, many conferences in the past. I'd attended one maybe two years before that, but I was playing it small and I was I was just starting to get into that idea of grow, uh, spending money to grow, taking risks to grow. And as I spent money with the first conference and got something back from it, I was more willing to invest in another conference. And what I've seen is it's starting to snowball. I've now, I'm now, now going to two conferences a year rather than one every two years. And I'm, I'm ordering more books and I'm just spending more money and I'm taking more risk by buying assets, buying, buying things that might uh, result in money or it might not. And I've seen my bank account increase. I've seen my mindset change by going to these things and so many benefits from going to conferences. So if there's one thing you take away from this, it's the idea of taking risks to expand and, for example, investing in yourself in education and taking that risk to educate yourself and grow, grow your mindset because it, it really works. And there's this flow of money that happens when you have that mindset, you, you start to invest in that. It always finds its way back to you, but in, in multiple ways. And you end up with more money than when you spent that money at the time. So even if you don't have that much money in your bank account, it's one thing I think you shouldn't be stingy on is investing in yourself and even investing in risks and business, going into businesses that you believe in. The, the last point I got away from this talk of Grant Cardone's was uh, there's three, three ways of kind of going for uh, living that kind of cycle of money. And the first one is have targets, but don't just have the targets you have at the moment. He was talking about after going through and changing our mindset slightly, uh, he has a book called the 10x rule and what that's about is if you have a goal like hundred thousand uh, pounds you want to make a hundred thousand pounds a year he would say 10x that goal and go for a million and what that does to you is like imagine if you were to 10x of the goals that you have right now so like 10 times whatever it, the, the figure is if it's a figure or just think much bigger than what you're actually going for right now what what do you have to do to achieve that now? And you have to change everything. It literally changes the game. Uh, it reminds me of a saying that um, don't set small goals because it doesn't have the essence to stir man's blood. Set large goals because it does have that to stir man's blood. So the, the big goals get you pumped to actually go and go for them. And that was one of the main takeaways I got from that about setting targets but setting really big bold targets and it, you have to kind of level up with that target to take the action to match that goal um, and he, he also mentioned that we should never lower or change the target we should always raise the activity rather than changing the target which most people do they say oh well the, the date's approaching and we're not going to make it that's small thinking, that's excusitis. And rather than doing that, we should raise our activity, just do more, uh, bring on more people, hire more people, add on more products so that we can reach those targets that we've set for ourselves, even when we're running out of time. And then back to uh, point two, he would talk about, so the, th the three steps are targets, products, and then the third one is recycle. And basically when you make that money, get rid of it put it back into that flow and, and reinvest it into your, yourself and your business so that it keeps coming around and it keeps building. And that's how Grant Cardone has built his empire to where he is today. He's got hundreds of thousands of uh, real estate and property in, over in America in, in Miami. And he's got 6 million followers on Facebook and lots over on Twitter and things. So 
he he's really living what he's he's talking about and you could really see that authority and the, ha having the right to be able to teach us this stuff and i'm really trying to put, put that into action at, off the back of that conference rather than letting it be another idea that that uh, get, makes its way out so the takeaway or the call to action is take risks to expand and get yourself into conferences around people like-minded people that uh, want to grow and grow, grow their self and their business. Thanks for watching.